Joshua Dobbs, I started the season and I said, this is so perfect for him because he's going to Arizona and Kyler Murray literally, guys, in case you're not NFL fans, he has it written into his contract that he has to watch film four hours a week. I've never heard of that ever, ever, ever. If you're not watching film at that level, you're not going to be successful. Same for the SEC level for, for that matter and he was and also I told he it, couldn't count video games this film <laughs> yes and i thought joshua dobbs to arizona was going to be a great fit now they're kind of trying to tank to maybe get a caleb williams um at least that's the talk but dobbs traded tell me about his new destination and should we be happy for josh dobbs who we love to root for um or should we be like ah darn it you should be thrilled for Josh Dobbs. Ooh. You should be thrilled. Josh Dobbs is finally on a team with a quarter with a coach who will be invested in him, a coach who knows how to call offense, and a team that is not trying to tank. Um, well, tell, me, tell everybody where he's going. I haven't even said that yet. Josh Dobbs was traded from Arizona to Minnesota. Minnesota is four and four. They just lost Kirk Cousins for the season. They still mm -hmm. think they have their playoff caliber team. Josh Dobbs is probably going to start right away with them. And it's a great situation for him. Kevin O'Connell, the head coach there, one quick connection. He was born in Knoxville. So you don't think he knows a little bit about Josh Dobbs? Um, and there's that. He was Matthew Stafford's quarterback. He was the offensive coordinator, excuse me, of the Super Bowl of the Rams when they won the Super Bowl. He's a Sean McVay protege. Now, Dobbs is not like Stafford. Stafford is the big arm drop back passer. But Dave, you know this. The Sh Sean McVay offense got Jared Goff to a Super Bowl, who's a totally different type of quarterback from Matthew Stafford. It's it's very adaptable to the quarterback, whoever it right. is. Um yeah, no, it is adaptable. Um so are we saying that you because you said that Joshua Dobbs has and we again when we say weak arm, know where we're coming from. Uh, it's it's an arm good enough to play in the NFL, or he'd already be out. But you you've you've raised concerns about his arm strength. So you think that is adaptable to his new offense? I think this offense is adaptable to his weak arm because Jared Goff doesn't have the had kind of a weak arm too, and he got them to the Super Bowl. So I think that this offense is adaptable to it. So. Dobbs's mobility is going to be a factor and going to be a big help. And I think I think he's in a situation. He's got a supporting cast. Look, he was on a he was on a team trying to make the playoffs last year with the Titans at the end of the year. But Todd Downing was a deer in headlights and had no idea how to use his new quarterback because I've never seen an offensive coordinator that breaks more toys on purpose than Todd Downing does. So I was very down on Downing. Um but now I think he's in a great situation with a great offensive coach, a playoff contender. And I think Minnesota is going to invest in him. Look, Arizona was Arizona was he was playing with one hand behind his back because while he was trying to win, Arizona as a team was trying to tank. It's yeah, really it's almost like they went out and got him and they were like, oh, dad, blame it. He's too good. He's going to yeah. win too many. He's going to win four or five games and we're not going to get Caleb Williams. <laughs> That's um, exactly what it was. I felt like that was part of it. Um, other than producing Prince, Minnesota is a terrible place. <laughs> Kevin Garnett, Kirby Puckett. Yeah. Uh, Janet Jackson or Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jam, the guy who produced for Janet Jackson, uh, is from, from Minnesota. Uh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, Prince definitely had that sparkle like Rick Terry jewelry designs can offer. You want to be your, they want to be your jeweler looking for affordable game day jewelry. How about the fire opals, the Tennessee tradition, Rick Terry jewelry.com, Rick Terry jewelry.com. Purely based off of Joshua Dobbs and the scenario in which he finds himself in Minnesota, what will be his success level as a player and as a team? Because the Vikings, for those that don't know, have a pretty good uh, football team put together right now. I think Josh Dobbs, I'm going to say it, with the NFC North kind of in flux, I think Minnesota is a play as a wild card team this year i think josh dobbs gets into the wild card i think he get, gets a wild card playoff spot for them and i think when kirk cousins comes back next year because kirk cousins is better than josh dobbs as much as i respect josh dobbs but i think the wild card berth is going to earn josh dobbs a contract by an nfl team next year 
Okay. I could see that. Now, are there any other quarterbacks we need to be aware of on Arizona's roster that already know the offense could hold on to the job or keep the job with Kirk? You like that? Cousins out of the mix. You didn't. You said Arizona. You sure you meant Minnesota, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Minnesota. Excuse me. Yes. Um, Jaron Hall, I think, is the only guy, other guy on the roster. And technically, he's listed as the first stringer. And I do think Jaron Hall might start this week because Josh Dobbs was just traded. But I think, I still think Dobbs gets that job in two weeks, honestly. By the way, uh, I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, nice little throwback. Ty Chandler is the backup running back at Arizona who played at Tennessee for a little while. Nice. And if Dobbs works out at or not Arizona, Minnesota. If Dobbs works out at Minnesota, could Josh Dobbs and Hendon Hooker be a future rivalry in the NFC North? This is turning into the most sarcastic message board of all time. Orange Blood said, did y'all know Dobbs has an aerospace engineering degree? I mean, that has been so reported. It's almost like you can't introduce him. Like he walks into a room and said, hey, this might be our new starting quarterback here at Minnesota. Who's excited? And by the way, he has an aerospace engineering degree. His name is Josh Dobbs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dave, I got, I got a question about you with Dobbs, though. Honestly, serious question, because I want to I point this out. Okay. Tyler Bray to Josh Dobbs, and I bring this up a lot. Is, are those the two most extreme examples of a quarterback who maximized his talents at the highest degree in the NFL as what he could do and a quarterback who totally wasted his talents? Or am I being yeah, hard I thought you that? Okay, for a second, I thought you were going to say they were both they both maximized their talent. I was like, no. whoa. No, was, no, Tyler, no, no. was Tyler Bray a total waste of talent? Do you think he could have been uh, smart I, if he had his head right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no question. And and when you go into the NFL, and this is the difference between Dobbs and Goff, for instance, when you go into the NFL, if you don't have a lot at stake on you in terms of a high draft pick, in terms of a lot of cash coming your way, you're going to lose out to a, a depth chart battle to another guy that has more of that clout. So Goff was highly thought of coming out of school and I mean, him and Dobbs have been about the same. I mean, I, Do Goff's had more opportunity, but that's because of the perception coming out of college. I'm sure they have great, fantastic Josh Dobbs memorabilia at Sports Treasures, carrying over 5 million Sports Treasures and so much more. Follow on Facebook for the best sports memorabilia, daily updates. Again, go to Facebook, sportstreasurestn.com. You can find them there, sportstreasurestn.com. Boy, it would be fun to watch josh dobbs advance minnesota in the playoffs maybe win a game or two is there a more lovable ball who did less in his time at at tennessee because the flip side of that is casey clausen who nobody liked during his time there there's a recent push of, of liking him uh, as I saw on facebook recently and he's a road warrior I was trying to tell you all that stuff in 2002 um and he brought a, a real sense of uh confidence to the team but is there a more lovable ball who has done less during his tennessee career than joshua dobbs done less like well that i hate to say that because like you don't want to like knock josh dobbs because like yeah no uh, but i mean but he didn't win he didn't even win an sec east casey did and casey's still despised by a lot of a lot of guys um I mean, hot take, Condridge Holloway might have done less than Josh Dobbs, um, but he, uh, but Condridge Holloway is beloved. It wasn't Condridge Holloway's fault. I mean, taking the race part out of it, which is a big part of it, but just focusing on the team, anybody who knows Tennessee history, that program was sliding into irrelevancy because they were so far behind the rest of the SEC curve. Tennessee had people from the Neyland days in the 70s. I don't know if you know the story, Dave. They didn't want to put lights at Neyland Stadium. They thought it was a violation of tradition to play night games in the 1970s to show you how stupidly old school they were at the time. Yeah. I think Wrigley um, Field was the same way. And uh, they put lights up. Bill Murray showed up drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, that and that's why Johnny Majors took the job in 77. I'm sure you've heard the story. He's like, I took the job because it was my home school. I didn't realize how bad a shape the program was in and how, behind you know, and I'm probably and being unfair. And some people have pointed this out on the message board. When I say done less, yes, he has, he has some records as orange blood as pointed out. But just as far as team success, you know, we haven't seen 
we haven't seen that out of him. So that that's kind of what I'm driving at. I, Did but, he have less team success than Heath Schuler though? I mean, uh, Heath Schuler never won the East. No. No, I mean that's fair. Um, or or Jimmy Streeter probably is beloved and had the least amount of success in the late seventies. Yeah, um, I could I could see that.